I wish I knew that in the beginning. When I started, I wish I knew. What's going on, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified in time I put up a new video. Today's video, I wanna talk about what I wish I knew when I first started making beats, mixing, and starting my business. If you know my backstory, you know that I started making beats on the PlayStation 2 Music Generator. Take it to the next level, looking to up your game, the MTV Music Generator. I thought I was Tim. When I first started making it, I thought I was Timberland. Seriously. Like, Timbo was my inspiration for making beats. So I thought, yeah, let me just jump on, on that, make some beats. Obviously, it's just sampled sounds. I progressed onto other things, other platforms, like moved on to FL Studio. Didn't really get on with that. Moved on to Cubase. Didn't really get on with that one. Then I found Reason, which I loved. Make some absolute bangers on that. Then I jumped onto to Logic. But during these times, I was just using stock sounds. And I thought like I was, like I made it. Like I was at the top making beats on these platforms using stock sounds. I'm not saying you can't use stock sounds and make decent beats, but I quickly realized how important sound selection is for your beats to, to not. Sound selection meaning sims that I've been using and drums that I use, because it's a certain level and quality that is gonna make your beat sound professional. So yeah, that's something I wish I knew when I first started. But yeah, it's a learning curve. Everything's a learning curve, always learning. And I didn't realize how important it is as well when it comes to mixing, because the sounds that you're choosing all play a part so they're all they all mesh they're all intertwined so yeah sound selection so important next up i wish i knew about clip gain i've been using clip gain in the last six six to twelve months more than i have obviously before it helps it helps me so much when i'm doing vocals because i can i can just go in use my marquee tool use the clip gain pull down what's too loud because since then i, I feel like my mixes have just gone clip gain absolutely love clip game the next thing i wish i knew was saturation and distortion that like how important that is to this my my sound and you probably your sound like everyone's sound how important that is to mixing and making beats and just giving you that that extra oomph to your productions and your mixes like saturation is so important for me is in a way and i wish i knew that when i first started ah oh, Mixing in mono, that there, if I, I wish I knew that in the beginning. Since doing that, like I said, I feel like production, I feel like my mixes have gone to, to the next level, which is what we're trying to do, what we're trying to achieve. So in regards to my business, I wish I knew how to spot time wasters. Tell them don't waste my time, no, no, no. Being able to spot someone who's, who's gonna waste your time is important. And one of the ways that I do this is just through talking, you kind of get a feel of where they're coming from. Once you hit them up with rates, if they are looking for a freebie, then when you mention rates, more often than not, you'll know what they're about. If they're there to waste your time, if they're looking for a freebie, which ain't, it's not a bad thing if they're looking for a freebie, but if you're running a business, then you can't really work with free. Start paying me for this. Can't get no more free, Randy. Unless it's different negotiations and splits and stuff like that, but that's a whole different video. But being able to spot a time waster, that has helped me so much. And I wish I knew what I know now in spotting them. I wish I knew how important it is to be confident in what you're doing. I remember my brother saying to me, you're, you're too apologetic. You're, you need to be a bit more, not cocky with it, but a bit more out there and you know your worth. And I think over time it's grown little successes and little wins here and there. So that does boost up your confidence and just lets me know that what I'm doing is actually working. But we grow, we're growing. So yeah, knowing your worth is so important. I wish I knew how important that was when I first started because you, some people might see that you're not really that confident in what you're doing and they might, might try and take advantage of you. Knowing that your product is good, but because you don't know your worth, they're gonna try and bump you down. So yeah, knowing your worth is a key thing to growing your business and your mindset. In regards to my business, again, and chasing my dreams, I, I wish I knew. It's okay if you don't get the support that you think you're gonna get or expect. If you don't get the support that you think you're gonna get, when you don't get it, you're gonna be even more disappointed. You just gotta understand that your dream and your vision is, is yours. It was given to you by God or whatever you believe in, but that's yours. No one else is gonna understand it. You can tell them, but they won't get it. Do you know what I'm saying? So once you get over that obstacle of, you might not get all that support that you expect, then you're gonna be okay because in time, when you keep on going, they're gonna realize that, oh, he or she was serious about what they was doing because they're actually doing it now. When that does ha eventually happen and the support starts to pick up, just be grateful for it. You might have people that's like close to you, your family, partner, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever it is, who might not even support your dream the way that you'd like them to. That's okay. You just gotta keep, keep moving forward, keep doing your thing, and I worry about that. 
go and get yours. So those are the things that I wish I knew when I first started making beats, mixing and starting my business. So hit me up on Instagram if you've got any questions. I'm always checking my DMs. I'm always getting questions in my DMs and helping people out and dropping little tips and tricks in my story. So go over to Instagram and uh, yeah, let's link. Let's link up. If the video has helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. Please, I appreciate your time. Peace.